Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about relationship between coefficients and roots of a quadratic polynomial. So let's consider the general form of a quadratic polynomial which is given by ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and suppose alpha and beta are the roots of this polynomial. a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of x and c is a constant. Now the sum of the roots which is alpha plus beta is given by minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square which is a which would be minus b by a and the product of roots which will be alpha multiplied by beta is given by the constant term which is c divided by coefficient of x square which is a. So this is c by a. Let's consider an example. The problem states that find zeros of a polynomial which is x square minus 3 and thereafter verify the relationship between zeros and the coefficients. So let's suppose this polynomial is px which is given by x square minus 3. Now in order to find the roots of this polynomial we equate px equal to 0. So this becomes x square minus 3 is equal to 0. Now on observing we can notice that we can reduce or we can change this x square minus 3 in the form a square minus b square by replacing 3 as square of root 3. So let's do that x square minus root 3 square is equal to 0. Now using the identity a square minus b square which is a minus b multiplied by a plus b our equation becomes x plus root 3 multiplied by x minus root 3 equal to 0. Now the roots of this polynomial would be x equal to minus root 3 and root 3. So first of all the first relationship is about the sum of roots. So the sum of roots is given as minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Now since we know the roots the sum would be minus root 3 plus root 3 and there is no term in the polynomial of x hence the coefficient of x is 0 so this becomes minus 0 divided by coefficient of x square which is 1. So we can see that the left hand side is 0 and the right hand side is also 0. Now let's consider the product of roots. Product is given as constant term divided by coefficient of x square. So the constant in our polynomial is minus 3 and the coefficient of x square is 1 and on the left hand side we know the roots so let's multiply them we multiply root 3 by minus root 3 let's put a line here so left hand side becomes minus 3 and the right hand side is also minus 3 so now we can say that the relationship between zeros and roots of a polynomial is verified. Let's look at another example. Uh, so the problem says find a quadratic polynomial the sum and product of whose zeros are minus 3 and 2 respectively. I think it's a important uh, problem from an examination point of view. 
So let's suppose that quadratic polynomial is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and the roots are given as alpha and beta. So what we know is that the sum of these roots alpha plus beta is minus 3 and product of these roots alpha multiplied by beta is 2. Now from the relationship that we have studied we know that the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is given by minus b by a. So minus b by a is equal to minus 3 and the product is given by constant by coefficient of x square which is c by a. So c by a is equal to 2. Now if we can find values of a, b and c we can form a quadratic equation whose sum and product of zeros are minus 3 and 2. So let's assume a value for a then we will find values of c and b and we will replace those values in this polynomial. So let's suppose a is 1. If a is 1 and we replace the value of a in this equation we get minus b by 1 is equal to minus 3 or b is equal to 3. Similarly we can find the value of c by replacing value of a equal to 1 in this. So this becomes c by 1 is equal to 2 or c is equal to 2. Now we have all the values a, b and c. We can say that the quadratic equation is x square plus bx which is 3, b is 3. So this becomes 3x plus constant which is 2 is equal to 0. Now you must be wondering why we took a specific value of a as 1. In fact we can take any value, any real value for 1 and therefore we will get infinite such polynomials such that the sum and product of their zeros are minus 3 and 2. So this is just one of the possible quadratic polynomial that we can get from these conditions and we need to find only one such polynomial.